Hello everyone, and welcome back to Cluster B Milkshake. I am your host, along with Sidekick, the Mike Master, Mr. Chicken. Yay! Um, today we are going to talk about the boundary test. Yes. Now these are um, the tests that we will give you in the relationship um, to see how far you will let us go. It is also part of the conditioning process, okay? So, um, there are some things when you are in the beginning of the relationship that you are actually going to talk about. You are going to speak and tell us what your boundaries are, okay? Some of these things are. When you were um, in another relationship or whatever, there are some things that your ex would do. We know that these are triggers for you. Some other things are, um, you know, calling you names. These are um, things that nobody fucking likes. But some of the most vile shit will come out of our mouth just to shock and awe you, okay? So if you were never called, um, you know, a, a, a whore before, guess what? You're a whore now. You're a whore now. Um, we will call you the C word. We will call you, you know, garbage. Just, um, you know, a... Uh, uh, we will go into great detail what you do with other people and make up, you know, just the most vile fucking things when we are upset or angry. Um, these are things that can be done on purpose or just, you know, trigger moments that we fucking do. And of course, we're not goddamn sorry. So it's something that you're going to have to choke on and eat. Now, if you tell us, you know, do not do that anymore. Do not. We're going to test you and see if, oh yeah? Okay, we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again and see if you're actually going to leave. Are you going to leave? No. You're not going to leave. You're not. If you did go and we wanted you, we would come back and say that we're sorry. We would still build up more time with you so you can get attached and then we will do it again. It doesn't stop, okay? It doesn't stop. You're telling a little kid, do not kick over that chair. Do not throw your toy on the floor. We're just like, we do what we want, especially when we're pissed. You don't tell us what to do. I'm gonna fuck you up all the time. So, name calling, yes, we will ghost you after having fucked tons of time with you. We will either ghost you to test you to see if you are going to be um, like, what are you doing? Where are you? You know, and act like um, you're being abandoned. This is going to um show us that we can use this tactic against you later to um train you your behaviors to train you not to do something or we're not going to talk to you now i tell you guys these things like um you know, we we are masterminds and shit. Like, let me go in my book and look at what I'm going to fuck you up with and shit like that. I mean, this shit is just fucking automatic to us. There is no, um, okay, uh, they did this, so I'm not going to talk to them. I actually get this fucking anxiety feeling. And I'm just like, I feel disrespected because you are not letting me be in control of your behavior. I'm out. I'm out. And it's just fucking automatic, you know. Now, when um, these things happen, I have that feeling come up. And it is so hard to not do, you know, the behavior that I've been doing fucking forever. Sometimes I'm like, fuck it, I don't care, fuck you, I'm out, you know. 
and I will leave and yes, I want you to chase me. <laughs> I want you to chase me and I want you to be good because <laughs> I do want to be with you. Um, what's another thing? Um, accusations. Um, these will be, um, you know, doing things to fuck with us. This is projection. We do things to you, you know, and we're going to fucking project those same, same fucking things and say that you're doing them to us. It's fucking weird. I'm telling you. And, and, and like I'm saying that these things are fucking unconscious, but these are the things that we do as a defense. So I'm telling you that they're test some of them are conscious and some of them are not it's like this is who we are and we're going to be letting down um you know the the happiness that's fucking constantly because we're going to be so exhausted and then we're just going to put on the fucking fuck leave me alone you know sh mask leave me alone i need a break i need a break from being perfect for you and that's when you're going to be like oh, what? what what but i want the fucking you know and it's just so much energy trying to be fake all the time it's not your fault i'm just telling you how it is you know um another thing is jealousy um i have now, I've done this on purpose. I have done this on purpose. Now, I have talked um, to many fucking men, and they say that they like their woman showing some jealousy because it means that, you know, oh, I'm attractive. Oh, you're afraid to lose me? Oh, I feel great. Come on. You know? So um, not only am I doing the jealousy thing um, to see how far I can get with the jealousy thing, but I am doing the jealousy thing because I do want you to feel um, that you're, you know, sexy fine. I do want you to feel like you are, um, you know, grade A hotness, you know? And I'm worried about losing you. Now, besides that, um, you know, I got insecurities. I don't want you fuck somebody fucking, fucking with my shit. You're my stuff. You don't get to fuck with my stuff. And um, I will murderify anybody who's trying to fuck with you. And if you even fucking try to do any triangulation shit and stuff on me, God help you. Because I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to fuck with your brain. I'm going to fuck with your heart for trying to um, make me jealous on purpose. Now. I have done this, of course, and um, it's actually automatic. I, 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 one time I was just almost like sitting in the back of my head watching myself do it. It was the weirdest fucking thing. I would just um, bring up other guys, you know, that I was talking to, or um, I would make a joke on somebody's post because that's what I always do. So I'm always like love bombing my friends and stuff, but knowing that um, my boyfriend was a jealous fuck, um, I did it anyway. And, um, I, I, but this was before I knew I was going to get a fucking harsh response, oh, a hard lesson I learned that day. Fuck. Um, but then the jealousy grows over time and because we need to control our environment, that's when we're going to be like, who are you fucking talking to? Who are you talking to? You know, what's your fucking history? I put on my detective fucking outfit. What's your fucking history with this person? Have they ever tried to fucking like you? Have you ever had friends with benefits with this person? Have you ever fucking sexed them? How long have you been friends for? Why are they important to you? Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Why? After a while, you are getting worn down so much that it's easier just to get rid of your friend. You know, and I'm not talking like real friend, but I mean, we, we'll do that too. But um, just like, you know, um, Facebook friend or whatever the fuck. You know, just people like that. Um, but yes, um, and we will do that with your real life friends too. It's like, what the? F why do you have to be friends with girls? Why? There is no reason to be friends with girls. I have been told, tell me this, I have been told a hundred times by guys that guys are friends with girls because they're hoping to get into their pants or they're shelving. They're shelving. I have been told this. So, um, and, and knowing myself, it's like, why, why do you need them? You know, because when I have a when I have a guy in my life, when I logically think it's like I do not need shelving. 
I have you. I don't need shelving, you know? Um, also, um, when I do have a man, I, I and, and this is um, my last boyfriend because I wanted him to trust me. I did not want to fuck around with nobody. I wanted him. There was no messaging. No messaging was off limits. No messaging to anyone. There is no reason a man needs to message me except for my sons. That's it. There is no reason to fucking talk to me. I have a man, you know? And that goes fucking both ways. But, um, yeah. So I hope that was helpful. And I really... Um, trying to get your boundaries back after doing this is next to impossible because we're just going to think that you're cheating trying to get your boundaries back or to say I'm not doing anything or I'm fucking locking my phone so you can't fuck with your shit you're fucking cheating Hoah! and you will be punished and we will fucking leave you and we will we will we will leave in Hoover leave in Hoover and fuck up your heart so yeah Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Namaste.